Hello and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. We're in the Trolls Lair and we need to level up. That's step number one. We're just going to jump right into it. So, um, Fighter is definitely where we're leveling Valerie. I know that she got beat up by the Paladin, but hear me out. That's a one-off thing. This one, she gets armor training. So, at this level, whenever they're wearing armor, it reduces the armor, pe uh, reduces the armor check penalty by one and maximum dexterity bonus. Every four levels, these bonuses increase by one. And gets all that sort of stuff. In addition, uh, can, the fi a fighter can also move at their normal speed while wearing medium armor. At 7th level, they can move at their normal speed while wearing heavy armor. This is level 7. Seems good. We also get tower shield training. So, um, the ben benefit of this increases every 4 levels thereafter as per standard armor training. Perfect. So, we get the armor penalty is reduced by an amount. That's fine, we can move at normal speed is basically the main thing that gives us. Right, um... Persuasion? Wait, wait, which one are we putting points? We're putting points into religion, yeah. What else? I guess I've just been kind of randomly putting points into things, that's fine. Um... Law religion, we could go into persuasion, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. And then here... What are we looking for? Just see if there's anything new that I can immediately spot. I don't think there is anything new. Persuasive. No. Lightning reflexes. Bonus on reflex saving throws. Not bad. I kind of like that. Fortitude saving throws are nice as well. Let's take the fortitude saving throw one. Yeah. That's fine. Don't need to be... Uh... Yeah, don't need to do anything special there. That seems fine. Harum. Cleric. Level 7 clerics get level 4 spells. They, like, there's no other option. This is so good. Yeah. Here, um, perception, lore, religion, that's all he needs. Right. Yeah, well, spell focus or weapon focus? I'm not really worried about either. Let's die hard. Requires orc ferocity. Um, he doesn't have orc ferocity, and I don't want it. Because it sounds bad. Because that's the one that's bad. Uh, anything else that he's got here? Seems useful. Toughness. Gain three hit points. For every hit die you possess beyond the third, you gain an additional one hit point. So he gets seven hit points. If you have more than three hit die, you gain one hit point whenever you gain a hit die. Such as when you gain a level. Yes. So he would get seven hit. He would get seven extra hit points. I mean, that's okay. You can take seven more damage, but at a certain point, it doesn't really matter. You know? Like, at a certain point, he's just fine. Improved initiative could be alright, given he does a lot of buffs. Yeah, let's do improved initiative. That's fine. And then he gets all of these spells. Which is lovely. And, of course, we're gonna have to look at them, but that's fine. Uh, Spellbook. There we go. Right, so. Does he get any lower level spells? He gets an extra level one spell. That's fine. At level 1 will give him... Um, do we use any of the level 1 spells? Not really. I take Inflict Light Wounds just so she he can heal uh, Jethal. Then at this one, Freedom of Movement or Fear. Freedom of Movement um, uh, enables you or a creature you touch to move and attack normally for the duration of the spell even under magic that stops that. Or Fear causes things to become frightened. Yeah, let's use that. All the rest of this, we can kind of have an idea of what it does. What's Death Ward? Subject gains a plus four morale bonus on saves against death spells and magic death effects. Okay. Crusader Edge uh, imbues a weapon of holy magic. Okay. Well, let's, let's just in a quick look here. What's Shield of Dawn? Any creature that strikes you with melee attack uh, deals normal damage, but also takes one d four points of uh, what? Sorry, one d six points of uh, fire damage plus one per caster level, which would mean you take. 1d6 plus 7. Fit Venom. Venom hits, it causes blindness for one turn. They must uh, also save or be poisoned by Black Eyed or Venom. A DC in uh, successive rounds being of the poisons equal to the spell's DC. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to take that one. Because I want to be able to heal. Uh, I can dismiss a summon, which is nice. This one can summon... Um... Multiple things. An extra planar or dire wolf and things. Okay. 
I'm gonna take Spit Venom. There we go. That's fine. Um, Jethal. Level up time. I took a single point in Fighter previously. And that was to get her the different stuff that she can use. But I think that Inquisitor might be better. Like, that was to get her, um, the proficiencies. But I don't know if we need to go any further. I think we can just go Inquisitor. Uh, that gets her t the extra teamwork feat. Which is okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that the one point fighter pretty much gets us everything we need from her. Although she is two handed fighter, so we could go till we get overhand chop, which at least allows you to get the extra damn. Let's go till we get overhand chop. At least at second level we get the um get strong grip and we get the bonus combat feat. Yeah, the first couple levels are okay here. Yeah. It does mean that we're not gonna be like all we're never gonna be a level twenty inquisitor anyway. Because we put a point in something else. Yeah. Let's go fight her, actually. Okay, um... Where are we putting points? So, perception was one. Uh, athletics is one. And yeah, we could just go with those two. Oh, knowledge arcana. Yeah, knowledge arcana and athletics. Is that what we're going for? We could go knowledge religion, but we kind of already had that covered. It's fine. Uh, so we get two feats, actually, at this level. Uh, and we can always... I think we can always... Uh, uh, um, teamwork feats like they're uh, all feats, aren't they? Uh, I think it says back here. I think it's, yeah, we can always use teamwork feats. Solo tactics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. We could we could go all in on uh, those types of feats if we want to. Um, Although I think we've got most of the useful ones. Armor focus? No. Blind fight. Every time you miss because of concealment, you can re-roll your miss chance uh, one time to see if you actually hit. You don't lose your dexterity bonus to armor class if you're being hit by an invisible person. They still apply for ranged attacks. Plus cleave. Ooh. The standard action, you can make a single attack with a base attack bonus against the foe within reach. If you hit, you deal damage normally. Make additional attacks against the foes adjacent to the first. You take a minus two armor class when you use it. Hmm. Okay. It is useful though if we want to just send them into a group of small enemies to murder them. Um, Dodge is nice as well. Just one AC. They're all fairly okay. Uh, What's Bull Rush? Ability to perform a bull rush combat maneuver it grants a plus two bonus to things. Bull rush attempts to push the bone straight back without doing any harm. Now, I think I'm going to take cleave. I think that sounds good. And then on this one, well, it's leaving finish. It requires us to have cleave. If you make a melee attack and your target drops to zero or fewer hit points, you need another melee attack using your highest base attack bonus against another opponent within reach. Yes, definitely. That's worth taking cleave by itself. Say, if we kill an enemy, we can then just attack another enemy. So if she crit kills one, she can then instantly attack. That's fantastic. We should move. Right. Sorcerer. Yeah, that was easy. We get more level 3 spell slots. We get deep slumber. It can cause creatures to fall asleep. Yeah, okay. And then we get bloodline feet selection. And we get our feet. Nice. Here, uh, knowledge world... Persuasion and I guess use magic device is where I'm going with that. We could go into Knowledge Arcana, but I think those three are fine for me right now. Right. Greater Elemental Focus. Use an energy type you've already applied it to and get another plus one. Okay. I'm all in on fire. That was easy enough. Bloodline Feet Selection. You got Fey Bloodline or Sylvan one uh, receives one bonus feat. Uh, okay. We get dodge, improve the initiative, skill focus, lore nature. Yeah, skill focus, lore nature. Done. Easy enough. Oh, we get more uh, level one spell? Wait, or do we just get more spells of any level? Let me have a look here. No, we get more level one spells. Oh, that's okay. I like it. Okay, what, do, what are we going to get? Um... I don't know. What are we looking for? Vanish could be interesting. Some invisible. Some monster. I'm trying to think of something we would use, you know? 
Uh, shield, I guess. Negate tap. Oh, we only get one level one spell. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. One level one, level, one level two, and one level three, I'm assuming. Uh, shield, actually, yeah. Shield seems good. It basically block it, it. It's four as uh, plus four shield bonus to AC. And it negates magic missile attacks directed at us. That's okay. Uh, level two. Scorching ray, right? Uh, you may fire one ray plus one additional ray for every four levels beyond the third. So. Two rays, right? Yep. Each ray does um, four d6 points of fire damage. That's so eight d6 points of fire damage, plus its touch. Yeah. We're if we're all in on fire, we're all in on fire, right? There's no two ways about it. Here we don't have fire. Let's haste. May make one extra attack a turn with its ranged weapon on all allies within a thirty foot. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. It's only one round per level, which means it's seven rounds. That's amazing, right? I don't think I need to look any further. That's plus one. Yeah. As a plus four. Yeah, plus one attack rules, plus one on dodge, plus one extra attack. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take haste. Seems good. I wrote it like I saw it. Seems really good. Right, Bard. So we get Bardic Performance as a move action. You can start a Bardic Performance as a move action instead of a standard action. That means that you can instantly use it instead of having to wait. Okay. Inspire Competence goes up. So that's extra bonus on skill checks. Okay. That's fine. Um, Arcana, World, Trickery. Yep. And use magic device, I guess. That's fun. Right. Uh, lingering performance, we probably don't need. Yeah, it allows you to carry on even if you stop performing. We got anything else that looks really good here? Spell penetration? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, precise strike? No. Out of flank. Yeah, no. Lightning reflexes, maybe. Extra performance. Additional six rounds of performance isn't bad, I suppose. Um, I don't know. Plus two bonus and all trickery effect. If you have ten or more ranks in one of these skills, the bonus increases plus four. Yeah, deft hands. You know what? I complain about her being bad at trickery. I might as well put points into it, and then I have a reason to be mad. Um, hideous laughter. That's close range. Um, touch. Anything that says touch, I'm not interested in. It is um no feather step. No, it's difficult terrain, which I don't care about. Increase your base uh speed. Cause fear. They're all a bit bad at this level. I guess maybe Unbreakable Heart, because it's just a plus four morale bonus and saving throws against mind affecting things. So if we come and get against someone who's trying to do mind affecting stuff to us, we can maybe do something. And then we get two level three spells. Uh, Cure Serious Wounds is still touch range, right? Yeah. Okay. What else have we got? Sea Invisibility is okay. Haste is really good. I'm going to take Haste again. What's Thundering grump, uh, Drums? 1d8 points of sonic damage. Um, and we can knock enemies prone per caster level. So yeah, that would do 5d8 points of sonic damage. Which is nice, I suppose. Cause a single opponent to be hit with grief. They can take no actions, take a minus 2 to armor class and lose their dexterity bonus. Okay. Interesting. Good hope. Um... Plus two morale bonus on saving throws, attack rolls, ability checks, skill checks, and weapon damage rolls. Unnecessary because we have the Bardic performance, which does the same thing. Displacement. Um, uh, I don't know. I think that maybe... It's, I think it's between sea and visibility. I actually think overwhelming grief sounds cool. Let's take it. I'm probably going to forget to use it anyway, let's be real. 
Right, Ranger. Next point in it doesn't get us anything extra. Is there anything else I want him to take? No. So I might as well take the next point in this. That's fine. Uh, Stealth. Athletics. I think mobility, because we're using him for mobility. Yeah. That's fine. Take those ones. Oh, and we get... Wait, oh, we still have a skill point left. Oh, wow. Uh, lore nature? Yeah. Sounds good. And then here, clustered shots. Take a moment to carefully aim your shots, cause them all to strike nearly the same spot. When you use a full attack to make multiple ranged weapon attacks against the same opponent, the total damage from all hits... Total damage from all hits before applying that opponent's damage reduction. Oh, okay, okay. So, basically what it's saying is if you hit an opponent, and let's say you do... Uh, Three damage a hit, right? And they have one damage resistance. What you can do is you can either hit them for the three debt. If you hit them with two shots, you do three damage of each. If with one damage resistance, you would do four uh, damage overall because you'd get minus one on each of those attacks. However, if you're using clustered shots, it would be six damage and you take away one, so you do five damage. You're doing an extra damage. So yeah, I think that sounds good. Uh, and we all we pretty much always have that attack on, so that seems that seems good. All right. Anyway, that was a lot of leveling up. I'll go ahead. So uh, this rune here we found, and it's the rune of the clan that's around this area. I have an idea. So we're gonna head back up to the bit above us here. I'm also not gonna heal Jethal just yet, because uh, actually by leveling up her health went up. So fine. We don't need to rest. But that rune, it looks a bit like a bow, as in um. Something you'd wear in a in hair or something like that, not not like a uh, a couldn't uh, a couldn't deal with bow, but it looks a bit like that. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna see if one of the symbols on the sun disc was a bow. See whether that does anything. I'll go ahead. So zigzag. F. M. Aha! Uh -huh. One of them is. Okay, interesting. Now, I don't know if that did anything, but that's definitely interesting. So we know that we have um, a sun and a moon disc, each of which have those four symbols on them. So those four symbols are four symbols of the uh, of the dwarven people who were here. I'm trying. I'm trying to solve it slowly. I'll go ahead. Uh, we have Y, which isn't there. Okay. Interesting. So it's got to be the other glowing symbol, I'd assume. Not that we have seen another glowing symbol, but... How curious. Oh, nice. But if there is another glowing symbol, it's got to be it. Okay. He needed. So that's, in, that's into this area again. Okay. The path is if we just find a key at the end, I'm going to be very annoyed because I think that this puzzle's the key. That's why I'm spending some time on it. Pause, please. Oh, she so successfully picked the lock. Well done. Good to see that you can do that now. That's the trickery check. So it's a DC 29 and she... Yeah, she rolled an 18. Not bad. What have we got Anything here? Else? Not bad. Can we get through this door? This requires your attention. Nice. How about this? I failed. I'm sorry. Failed, but didn't blow us all up. She actually only needs to roll an eight. Try again. Applause, please. Nice, 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 nice. Right, so this area is okay. Head further in. What we got going on? What a surprise. Please disarm the traps, Lindsay. It's just not my lucky day. That's fine, you can try again. Applause, please. Nice. The XP is really nice as well from there. I mean it's not great XP, but it's you know, better than we get for killing enemies. That's uh, a lot of enemies. Uh they're actually all basic trolls though, so I'm gonna chuck in some fire. Actually, uh, so you know what? I'm gonna chuck in some bigger fire. There we go. 
That'll do it. We're gonna have to rest soon. Uh, what's he doing? He is... Secundio... Oh, wow. Doing lots and lots of damage. That's lovely. Um... Right. Uh, hit. No, 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 no. Ignore that. He still has no way forward. Okay. She can't die, so that's fine. Get the boom sayer, please. Right. Dog seems to be bigger than he used to be. Is it just me or does dog seem to be much bigger than he used to be? I don't know. Maybe it is just me. Alright, we're gonna have to rest in here again. That's fine. Uh, dog, can you get me this loot? Thanks. Nothing worth having. Okay. Right. Uh, do that. Rest. Dog is massive. <laughs> I, I, I'm not crazy. The dog is massive. Right. Rest. You're a skilled warrior, but sometimes you seem to forget about the team and fight like you're alone against everybody. It's all true. Old habits don't easily die. I've fought alone all my life. And he still doesn't say very much, does he? Right. Uh, wow, she's you almost healed. That's fine. What's that one? That's her... Oh, that's her cleave. If we want to have that on. Uh, we're not too worried about having cleave on. The main thing that we like her having is the ability when she last hits the to, ha to hit the next one, so... Uh, I'm going to head this way, actually. Just because this leads to the area we're not able to get into otherwise. Okay. What's back this way? Ooh. We got disc. A kobold shaman, clad in a long flowing robe, swaggers back and forth before the gathered trolls and kobolds. His posture is proud, strict, and imbued with dignity. Orba words, listen closely and speak after. Speak. Kobold students echoes really and then snorts in what might be a laugh. The shaman stares at the student for a while, hissing wordlessly, then turns to the others. Glub eat. Glub eat. Keats. Orba meat. Meats. Orba meat. Jamin turns and sees you. His eyes go wide and he points a finger at you. Do Boba kill meats? Kill me. You cannot stand against me. Uh, kill him? What a waste. Oh. So the puzzle may have been a lot easier than I first thought. Make the moon look like that. Make the sun look like that. Seems easy enough to me. <laughs> Unworthy. Okay, uh... We need to move out the way of the dog, and then the dog can go. Right, um... We can probably just use fire at the back here. Nice. Uh, keep going. Where are you going, Valerie? Become as dust. That's fine. Okay. This is fine. Yeah. There we go. Now dog's actually moving. Okay. That's good. I uh, grab that. Okay. Fairy Tales of Avastin. Long, long time ago... In a time before remembering, there was a furious god known as Rovagog, a terrible giant worm with thousand teeth and claws. He devoured every world in his path, one after another, but the great gods were displeased with the beast and delivered unto Rovagog the scourge. Many laid down, laid down their feuds to combine forces, mighty Torag, brilliant uh, Saren Ray, vicious Asmodeus, crafty Calistria, cold-blooded Phrasma, and many, many others. Together, they faced Rodvag, or, uh, Rovagog, as he arrived to swallow Galarian, gods of the sun, Saren Ray, forbade Rovagog's death, 
until the gods imprisoned the fiend uh, deep in the ground, shackled and sleeping. As Mordius himself um, would keep the keys to his bonds, uh, the terrible monster remained there, still sleeping in his prison. Whenever Rovergog uh, rolls in his sleep and scratches back against his prison walls, the earth trembles and volcan volcanoes spit fire. Okay, we kind of knew that one. The River Freedoms. We've already read, We well, we've, we've been told these directly. So that's fine, we don't need to read them again. Chronicles of the Blades, we've read, and Prodig Prodigal... Yeah, we've read it. Right, whatever. We'll take the books anyway, but we've read all of them. We've read or been told them, one way or another. Right. Mushrooms? Thank you. And then grab everyone, get them to pick up whatever's left there. Nope, nothing. Okay. Trolls have not been kind to these statues. Their purpose remains unknown. The trolls have not been kind to the... Yeah, okay, fine. That's the same on both of them, but at least we know what these How are for now. Curious. Anything else? We'll have that. And we'll have that. Nice. Nice. Uh, head along this way. So that is a... Ma okay, that is a major quest objective. It's fine. We'll head back this way. Because we know that we can do something with those. Well, let's just head straight out, right? Let's not um, let's not explore anymore because we already know what those do. Sorry, uh, and what what are the symbols? Moon is um, bow. Sun is zigzag. That's fun. Easy enough. That seems like the solution to the puzzle. Not that it's really that much of a puzzle. It seemed like more of a puzzle originally. Let's head out. Wait, did I ever pick up the loot? No, I picked up the loot. There was just nothing in it. That's fine. Can do a quick uh, scroll through here to see if we missed any loot. Nope. Okay. Right. Do we have anybody who's quicker than anyone else? I'm trying to think here. So that we don't have to send everyone around and walk at that, that pace. Dog's probably quicker, right? Yeah, we can use the dog. So, this one. Zigzag. Oh, not zigzag. It was definitely that zigzag. Whoa, 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 what's it doing? That's right. Then I'm going to move all the way over here. Right. There we go, dog. Bounding away. Look at it go. Magnificent, majestic. It is bigger. Right? I don't know. You see, now, now I'm just, I'm getting another one of these, uh, I'm not sure whether my memory is just faulty. But, like, the previous dog we had just looked pathetic and died instantly. This one looks massive. I don't know. Anyway. There we go. It's almost there. Right. Then this one was that, right? Yeah. Can I just go like this? Have to wait for everyone, huh? That's definitely right in terms of what these are like. So zigzag and oh yeah. See if we can find the dog on his path. Oh, there we go. Could you like put some effort into it, dog? You know, maybe bound a little bit. Oh yeah, he does. He actually moves slower when you click on that. Okay, so he was literally <laughs> moving slower. Right. Good to know, good to know. If you want people to move clicker, um, move quicker, you just click where you want them to go, opposed to telling them to go somewhere. Okay. That's fine. So now we've set these to the right symbols, something will happen. Maybe. I don't know. I'm still a little bit confused about what we do, but we'll see. Seems alright to me in terms of a theory, you know? Set them to the right symbols and 
something happens. Probably going to be you go there and you get some sort of blessing or something. I don't know. It's fine. Head around this way. Just trying to work out where else we haven't been. So we didn't. There's nowhere forward from that way anyway. So that's fine. Yeah. That way leads to nowhere. Could head right there and that would take us somewhere. We could head through that door and that would take us somewhere. Okay. Don't know where that way leads us either. Oh, there we go. It's got a box that's now opened. Cool plate. And 2,000 gold. Well, you know what? It's kind of worth. Oh, it's actually... um. Not only full plate, it's special full plate. This plus two full plate can only be equipped by good characters. It grants us we're a plus two enhancement bonus to wisdom and charisma, and plus four sacred uh, bonus on saving throws against compulsion effects and poisons. If equipped by a paladin, it also gives her the ability to use smite evil two times more per day. Well, I mean, you're not a paladin, but you're also not good. Oh no! Well, that tells me something here, right? It's given us this fantastic plate armor. Only good for a paladin, only good for a good character, right? There is no way that we are not running into a paladin who can use that, right? We've got to run into a paladin at some point. That just seems Can you make just a lucky day? I need inspiration. foolish that we wouldn't run into a paladin. Run away, Lindsay. We got a singular wolf. Let us strike as one. <sighs> what a trap. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Screen bounced a little bit there. Does it matter? There we are, that's fine. Nice. Uh, yes, it's fine. Yeah, the way we're moving through this dungeon does rather make me feel like we could have done this at a lower level. <laughs> I mean, we literally were doing it at a lower level. I mean, we were level 6, but, I mean, we probably could have done this at level 5. We should have just come here the moment we knew it existed, but that's fine. Seems simple. It's kind of weird, this game. There are bits of that just seem super difficult, and it gets you cautious, and then you're like... Oh, here's the boss area. It's easy. I suppose maybe it makes sense. Maybe the logic... I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Uh, I suppose maybe the logic is that... Um, I'm trying to figure out if we even want a healer. Probably not. Where was my brain going with that? Yeah, maybe the logic is that everybody has to do the side... Everybody has to do the main quest. Can we even open this yet? Failed. No. I'm sorry. Everyone has to do the main quest, so you make it a little bit easier. But not everyone has to do the side quests. You make it harder. I don't know. Maybe. Still locked, huh? Okay. So we got one area which we need a key for. We do not know where the key is. Well, let's try this door. I, I'm not holding out hope that it's um, unlocked. But at least we know it's not uh, related to the puzzle that we previously went into. There we go. Hello. Repent. Dead. And dead. The Thal only got one strike in the whole fight. I just noticed there as in um she wasn't even in range before the first troll went down. I mean at level six, it kinda felt like we were almost at the right level for this. Maybe a little bit strong. But now it's just one level up, it's just destroying things. Oh, this is a huge area. Is this a fight? It feels like a fight, you know? Guess not. Okay. What a surprise. Ooh. The Commandant's Journal, the second half. Okay, right. Rosland is in flames. The barbarians brought some dragons along. Instead of traders, there were crowds of angry, ta of hungry, tattered, or wounded refugees moving along the shield road. Thanks to us, they can at least be safe from the bandits, but can't go on like this any longer. All three clans are utter bankrupts now. We're only here because no one wants to lose face and leave first. News arrived from the Silver Shield Fortress. 
Wara dashes are leaving. Everyone curses them, but I'm secretly grateful. They've covered themselves in shame, but let the others keep face. Some try to look bold and claim skeeks and Lange books will manage without them, but everyone knows this is just empty bravado. This is the end of the shield road. We're gathering our possessions and get ready to seal the fortress. For a long, long time, for centuries or even millennia. Until the day our descendants will come back to claim what belongs to them. We must leave a lot behind, but at least we can properly use all of those secret rooms. It's especially sad to leave the Searing Palm. There's no second furnace like this in the whole River Kingdoms. It wouldn't be a shame to offer Torag himself to work with it. So many enchanted arrows, swords, axes we have created in this furnace. So many trolls were eliminated by that enchanted uh, burning steel. Alas, we can't take the furnace with us. We can only hope that some trespassers uh, won't find this fortress, and even if they do, they won't be able to get inside. We will also have to leave behind the treasure hidden in the place near the watchtower. It can only be opened by representatives of all three clans together. Oh, we've already found that one. That's the Cogs one that we did. When they unite their keys. And the war dashes took theirs with them when they left. Well, they had every right to do it. The last secret room was sealed by old Alls, the master of the complex mechanisms. He didn't even tell me how the machinery works, just smirked like a madman and mumbled something about the sun that meets the guests of the keep and the moon that faces the sky furnace. Yeah, okay, we've already looked at those. We're leaving the fortress, which has been guarded by three generations of our ancestors for 300 years. Walking back to the road, paved by our great-grandfathers, the road we dedicated our lives to. The shield road has become the road of shame to us. No. Everyone succumbed to disgrace. The few desperados called themselves the last shield and took an oath to defend the road until the last breath. They are the ones who harbor the very spirit of the dwarves king Talaric had strived to restore. Those are the best among us. Too bad they'll have to die alone in the wilderness. The young Wark is one of them. He declined uh, blank to leave his post at the watchtower. I left Langebuk's key with him. We hardly have anyone more worthy to keep it. Old Gojin Skedge stays with him, claiming he would better die as an old stubborn head than as a coward. I have nothing to answer to this. We've let down our king and our an we've let our king and ancestors down. Farewell, Bronshield Fortress. Sleep well and dream of the day the dwarfs will return. Okay. That was basically just telling us about the um Yeah. That was basically just telling us about the dwarf stuff we've already uh, knew about, mostly. Ooh, there's a fight in the room. Stand me. That's a lot of trolls. Um, or a lot of troll dogs. Hit them. It's gonna be a while before they're all here, but come on, hit them. You know, this seems like overkill now. Yep. Yep. I thought, wow, so many enemies. We're gonna need something against them. Nope. We uh, can just handle that, apparently. I mean, cleave probably helps. Uh, I didn't see it trigger there, but I'm assuming it did. Oh, I don't like surprises. That's fine. Disarm the trap. We're standing a bit close, but that's okay. She'll succeed. Not my lucky day. A miserable last chapter. There we are. At least that heals for more now as well. Requires your attention. Lindsay. And Lindsay was called for. We're gonna stand over here this time. Anything else? Of course. I'll go ahead. Don't worry about it. Big door. Nice. Hello, branded Scared? trolls. Get him. Should be. Valerie in there. I just realized, do we still have, do we have, uh, we don't have that on. There we go. That's fine. Dethal's finally in here. Oh, she just walks past all of them. I mean, yeah, kind of expected. So, what happened to Jathal there? She just walked past the enemies and got attacked of opportunity. I probably should have stopped her. Patience. Uh, there we go. Nice. Quick save. Grab the loot. Hmm. 
That's this is the furnace we were told about then, huh? Oh yeah, and there's uh Hargulka. Right, that's fun. Not that I'm not running away, okay? Just want to get that clear. This isn't running away. I just want to explore the rest of the keep first before fighting the boss. You know, just normal things. Yes. We should probably heal one more time Obstantly. now that I think about it. Nice. A little quick save. At least explore the whole of the room we just left. Oh, see friendly trolls. Cobalt Sniper. Whoa, whoa, you, Cobalt, this troll's loot. Two huge trolls overhang a group of Cobalts. They're pressing huge fists against their hips and seem irritated. The Cobalts, however, don't seem to be in any way disturbed by the threat the trolls radiate. They rummage busily through the pile of stuff littering the stone floor. Looks like the stockpile the trolls had brought back from the recent raids to the na neighboring villages. Among the stockpile stuff, you can see filthy rags, a broken table, a door which had been torn off its hinges, and a massive oak uh, bureau. Tartuk, spoils, allows. Knows. Haluka see loot first, share later, Tobalt's rule. Cobalt looks in Troll's eyes motionless for several seconds and turns away having lost interest in this conversation. For a moment it seems like the Troll will hit the Cobalt and smash him with a single blow of his huge fist. The seconds pass and the Troll stands motionless over the Cobalt who seem to ignore him completely. Haluka will know, Haluka, Haluka will and Tartuk punish you, me tell him. Troll announces at last, stomping his feet indignantly. It's hard to say if the Cobalt understands the meaning of these claims, but all the enraged Troll's shouting has absolutely no effect on him. Having the bureau open, the Cobalt uh, fishes out a long, black whip, raises it above his head, and hisses triumphantly. Ah, that's the whip we were looking for. Stay behind me. Right, uh, fire. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's use a buff. <laughs> That doesn't seem to be activating properly. Oh, there we go. That's kind of weird. Anyway. Just move through them. The fact it survived so many attacks of opportunity is amazing. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. We'll grab that. Not a lot of gold, but, you know, might as well grab it all, you know? There's the whip we needed to find for our wizard. Nice. Decide what to do with the wizard's whip. Uh, give it back to the wizard. Let's say decide what to do with the wizard's whip. It's not ours. Uh, duty dictates to return it to its original owner. Oh yeah, Renowned Explorer is interesting. Found a door. Maybe a nice idea to bring Jubilist here. It might lift his spirits. Oh. Might be a nice idea to bring him here after we've cleared it out of enemies. I'm assuming that's that's kind of implying there. Okay. And then... Ooh. Um, this troll treasury reminds you of a city dump. Broken tables, smashed cupboards, doors ripped from their hinges. Yeah, uh, all taken from raids on human um, villages. Oh no! I didn't want to pick up all of that junk. Uh, drop. 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 Oh. That is a lot of junk we picked up. We're going to be so rich when we get back. I mean, we're already rich compared to what we were. Like, we've never had this much uh, stuff and we haven't even sold all of our loot. Right. Now we find the whip. Jubilost, uh, I don't know where he is, but that's fine. So we don't need to do his quest. There is the key that we got, and there's a bunch of areas only opened by a key. So I think that that seems like a good idea. In fact, it might just be one area, but just multiple entrances, which actually looking at it seems very sensible. Yeah. We'll head down here. Some people a little slower than others. Turns out the fastest running is Lindsay in our party. Okay, that's fine. Oh no, it's cause, probably because we're running from the back. The thaw is really slow. Like comparatively. Okay. Tread lightly. So 
That was that key does not unlock that door. Weird. Uh, yeah, there we go. Wait for us to walk around here. Yeah, should be all right. I'm feeling like Harluka's not even going to be a tough fight. Just as an initial thought. I mean, I'm Harim's very weak right now, but apart from that, I think we should just be able to completely destroy them. I mean, I'm trying to think what they would need to do for him to be strong. I guess it would just need him to have a really, really um, powerful crit on Valerie or something and just take her out. But even then, like, she has 100 health, so the crit would have to do a lot of damage. Then he'd have to get through her rim as well, and that's before Jathal kills him. So, yeah. Anyway, in we go. Hello. Barba! You managed to get here. Good. Now Argulka will tear you apart with his own hands. Argulka turned from the anvil and on his chest is a brightly glowing brand mark. Now previously that was dim. So, interesting. Stop courageous and strong, Argulka. I wish to ask. Ah, Tartuk pulls aside the iron rod he just used to finish branding the troll. I didn't even notice Tartuk here. Say me. Why are you slaying us? What did we to you? Why take troll and kobold lives in their own home? Hmm. Well, if he's gonna pretend, we'll pretend. You attacked my barony, I protect my subject. Actually, you know what? I'm going to ask him why he's pretending. I know who you are. You know nothing. Nothing. So, will you tell us why you brought us death? You attacked my barony. I protect my subjects. <laughs> all but kills because trolls and kobolds are unlike her. That's what all Borba do. Trolls and kobolds cannot establish a kingdom while humans kill them. Death! El Borba! Death! Fire burns in the kobold's eyes, bright within his horse skull helmet. Okay, so Tartuk's using haste. You know, I kind of feel like that's the right move, to be honest with you. We'll get our haste going right here. And we will also start up Lindsay's one. Uh, Valerie's going to attack Hargulka. Harim's going to use his Archon one. Actually, can you use hold person on Tartusio? Maybe. Okay, dog. Attack. Ekundio, buff. Yathal, I have a very important job for you. Attack Tartusio. Uh, okay, so some of them are just running away. Just cool. That's a lot of damage on Valerie. Uh, can you use Archon's aura? Yeah. Old person did seem to work on him, actually. I think. Yeah. I grant your death. Our haste's about to cast. Lindsay has now cast her ability. That's fine. <laughs> We managed to avoid miss someone who's standing still. Haste has gone off. Okay, so everyone now has haste on. So he's immune to pretty much a lot of stuff. Right, hit him with that. Valerie's gonna fall. That's fine. Okay. I forgot to try and remove the disease. Um We got any things we want to use here? Maybe overwhelming grief will cast. Right. Jathal also should probably have, like, something that increases her accuracy. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Dog's down. Okay. Overwhelming Grief did something to it. Um, yeah. Well, we should use that, definitely. Um, this is fine. Ikundio. Keep on Tartusio, me. yeah. 
I did nothing. <laughs> we managed to save our f saving throw here. Nice. Who are you shooting? You're shooting that one, apparently. Okay. Alright, so we are still hitting this one and doing damage, which is okay. Lindsay? Um... Shoot Tartusio. We are still we still have our buff. Might move closer. Any last wishes? Oh, we've been hit by our my magic missiles, but I'm not worried about it. Could be worse. Will be Why can you will not be. hit? <laughs> What's the problem? Armor class is 35, and you got 13 attack bonus. That's that's what the problem is. Okay. You know what? You're not immune to fire, Tartusio. Let's hit him with this. Alright, he's dead dead. Assist me or lose me. Okay, I figured out what I did wrong here. That's okay. Uh Lindsay? You're the one with a shield. You fight him. This is where I step in. Okay, um, Scorching Ray seems to have worked, so let's do that again. I think I figured out my issue. We can beat him next time. Protect me, please. I, I did a bad, uh, I did a bad, um, party selection. Right. I just want to kill Tartusio. Oh, we've been frozen. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I figured out what we did wrong. Very, very easy. I sent the person who can hit people against um, the person who can't be hit. I sent, I'd said that in a very weird way, but hopefully you get what I'm meaning. So, let's position our party a little bit better. So, the person who we want to be hitting is over here. So, we want to be hitting Tartusio. The end draws near. Her rim is fine here. What troubles you? As is Lindsay. Dog is absolutely fine with his current job. I am your shield. There we go. State your desire. The Thal is going over this way. Nekundio should also be in the same thing. He should be hitting the troll. Give I want Valerie to trigger the fight. We can choose. Oh, it lets you get really close, I forgot. So maybe that's um, yes. why it lets you get so I'm close, is so that you can choose your fight. That's fine. Save out there. Dog? No, that's us. That's us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay where we I'll are. Go ahead. Dog? Move in there. Request. Jethal, move in here. Depend on Ikundio, me. move in. Actually, what I should do is I should pre-buff as well. I shall and Lindsay not was fail. called for. That's fine. Uh, I am going to have Inspire Courage anyway, even though they don't properly stack. That's fine. Um, could have chosen one or the other. We can haste as well right now, before the fight begins. And Ikundio can get his Good buff go. on. Don't hesitate. Go. Bottom. Say me. <laughs> Uh, you attack my barony. Right. Pack in. We are going to straight away select that Tartusio. Hit him. Lindsay, shoot at the troll. Everyone is going to hit that troll right now. Um, yeah. Just hit the troll with whatever you have. Dethal, um... Probably want, uh, I don't know, piercing? Nope. Healing? Nope. Uh, resistance? No. Nope. This one, right? Smiting? Smiting is all right. We'll use Bane as well. I don't know what it does, but we use Unworthy. it. Well, I mean, I don't know how to activate it properly. Ah, uh, right. dead! You dead? Go. We already have haste on. Mm. 
That's good damage. Right. Do we have anything... Do we have a touch-based attack we could use against this one? Is this touch attack? Oh, we could try it. It's fortitude half damage. Let's... So we'll try it. There we go. Um, Lindsay, keep going. Is this touch attack? It is, actually. Maybe use that on Tartusio. Haste has now been used, but Haraluka, look how much health he's taken already. Your strike wasted. He's almost dead. He is dead. Wow. Now that changes things quite a lot. We've been held, but that's... A, oh, we actually saved that one. Never mind, we haven't been held. Tertusi was like, I don't know what to do. I'm screwed. Let's just speed it up. Nice. Save it, Will saving all of his whole people. There we go. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, for first try after figuring out not to do the exact opposite of what I did. I did the thing that would make us lose the fight, which was attacking Tartusio, who has really high, um, like, um, really high armor class, instead of attacking the troll and just killing it with our insane damage against things we can hit. Anyway, after Haruka's, or, uh, Haruka's death, the Cobalt spells weaken as though he's lost his concentration. His attacks stop, he simply defends himself. Finally, he drops his hands in the middle of casting a spell, letting it dissipate. <sighs> Useless. Senseless. You are victorious. I surrender. He's breathing so heavily that it's hard to make out his coarse hisses. You know what? I'm asking for the last time. Who are you? I remember well the gnome Tartusio who assumed the appearance of the Cobalt Tartuk. Remember clearly how I killed him. How I killed you. Why are you making me remember? I don't want to remember. The memory. It comes, then goes, then comes again. Why do you care who I am? Spare me or let me die. But stop this. What about your spy mission for Pitax? Pitax. Strong country. Ravenous king. He wants more, more power. Yes, I remember. I served him. The king said, there's some ancient artifact in the stolen lands. Find it and send to me. And I did. I found it in the Sycamore Hall and sent it to the king. Then fought against you and died. You weren't too eager to show mercy to us. Why should I show mercy to you? The Tuk squats tiredly and looks morose. The rug that serves him for cloves are tat uh, the rugs that serve him for cloves are tattered. Though through the holes you can see bleeding scratches on his purple hide. At the moment Tartuk looks to be a severely beaten dog, his masters have banished him from the coziness of home out into the pouring rain. Kobolds! didn't wish war. I didn't wish war. It's all Joe's fault. I sought to suppress their wish to kill humans, but they wouldn't listen. You can't just blame the trolls. You're the one who branded them, convinced them of their false immortality. I don't accuse anyone. It was me who found this place, rekindled this ancient forge, sensed its magic. I started to brand trolls to shield them from fire. It was my mistake as much as trolls. So why did the Cobalts join forces with the trolls in the first place? You cannot understand. <coughs> <coughs> Cobalts are small. Everyone tries to banish them, strike them, slay them. No one respects them. Same things I suffered in the past. I just wanted respect for Cobalts. Trolls were listening to Cobalts. For the first time, 
Since the dawn of this world, kobolds were treated with respect. You wouldn't understand. So what would you do if I let you go? You would release me. I shall go away, a long distance away, so no one could find me. Away from trolls, from humans, from kobolds. I sought to establish the kobolds' kingdom. I wished a place in this world for kobolds. Wish them to be accepted. Some home. But I've lost. I brought my people to death. You know what? You tried to make your tribe happy by ravaging and torturing all your neighbors. Chief Sootscale is a worthy example. He made an alliance with our Baroness, and he's living the high life with all his kobolds. You let this monster go now, and it will sow death and terror somewhere else. Don't make this mistake. Hmm. Well... I, I think I'm going with my party here. Uniting the trolls led to many of my people's deaths. It's time to answer for your crimes. Let's put an end to this madness. Peace will be restored. With iron and blood, since circumstances require this. <sighs> I shall answer, but you won't like my answer. Come closer. I've stored some Spells, especially for you. Since I am to die, I shall take you with me. Who will prevail? Does oh, matter. I see what he's starting to cast, and here's the thing. I'm prepared. We'll cast shield. Then he can't hit us with magic missile. Hit me now, Tartuk. Oh, he changed what he's doing because he can't hit me. Ah! Ah, perfect. Oh, he managed to hold Valerie. Not the one he needed to hold, but whatever. That looks like we just blasted her rim in the back. Okay, um... Need more touch damage. Do we have more touch damage? Haste is uh, worn off. We could put haste on people again. Uh, I suppose we're the ones who can hit him, so maybe we'll keep hitting him and then someone else can use... Um, haste, like say Lindsay, because uh, she also has it available. Yeah. May I suggest another way to use this spell? Oh, you have to use it on a person. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, keep trying to hit. Dogs going. Uh, Jethal. We die to him now. It's going to be very um embarrassing. So I hope we don't die to him now. Maybe bleeding touch. I mean, that's probably a touch attack, right? Yeah, melee touch attack. Just use that on him. Things. Harim, do we have anything for you to use? Anything that's worth using? Um, No. But that's kind of fine. Okay, let's use that one. That's fine. If we hit with enough attacks, we'll eventually get them. At least we hit him with the uh, bleeding touch. I mean, it was a critical hit, but it hit, and that's all that matters. Nice. So we're doing damage to him now, over time. Uh, Kundio can only hit on a crit as well, can't he? Yeah. I think everyone can only hit on a crit, pretty much. Actually, how much does his um, how much does Laura's attack by? Minus two. I would like him to hit on a nineteen as well, but I think a nineteen is a crit for him anyway, so. We're okay on that. Um, you know what? Go buff a Kundu. Give him a chance to hit. Right, then come back. You deserved it. Right. Uh, we got anything else we can use here? Um, hold person, I guess. That's fine. 
We're still having trouble hitting him, but that's okay. Is our shield still up? It's up for another six minutes. Okay. Uh, I'm sure we must have more touch attack. We could try shocking touch. I mean, yeah, like, go in and use shocking touch on him. <laughs> Missed. Okay, well... That's fine. Uh, Harim, we're gonna need a major heal on yourself there. Actually, we have bi we have a bigger heal now, don't we? Uh, there we go. Yeah, instead of that one, critical heal on himself. Keep going. Okay, could have been better. It was actually fairly low by the looks of it. That's fine. Got anything? I mean, we might as well turn off fighting defensively. There's no point to having that on. Dog? Uh, no, no point to. What's, what's that one from the dog? Power attack. Minus one to all penalties. Uh, probably still only hits in a crit anyway. Um, We could try and make them cower in fear. <gasps> try that. I guess. Oh, now he's carrying in fear and we hit him. And he's fallen over. Perfect. Chances to actually hit. Right. Uh, we got anything else that we need to use here? We could switch to one of these other ones. Like uh, magic weapon. There's one of these that's about hitting, isn't there? Yeah, okay. That one. Go for it. Go. Kill him. We got him with shocking grass. Lovely. Only took a million hits, but we got him. See, that's why attacking Tartusio first was the wrong plan. Right. Definitely grab that. That's the key to the bit we can't get into. Heavy mace and a belt of plus four magic of uh, physical might. Another key. Ring of Luck, Ring of Protection, Alluring Charisma. Well, I can tell you one thing. We're wearing the Charisma Helmet. I know that um, Lindsay probably gets a bigger bonus, but we're wearing it. The troll fancies himself a true king. He even made himself a throne. Uh, the, the tongs, which we needed. Perfect. More Another key, and then the bracers, which is armor of three. Lovely. Well, that's for us, right? Um, yeah, because we're the only ones who don't wear armor. So it should be from newest to oldest. Perfect. Yeah, we're the only ones who don't wear armor, so we're the only ones who get the armor bonus. Fine. Trolls rarely use flags. The leader must be a genius for this race. Wow. It's very insulting, you know? It's very insulting. Is say the same on this one? Yep. Okay. What are we doing with this? An ancient anvil. Can it can it still work? Harum can't believe his own eyes. He reaches to the anvil and touches it with care. Fiery sparks flit dangerously close to his beard. It's just beautiful. The dwarf smiles happily. You see, everything is not bad after all. The anvil's still operational. What do you say now? Arim pets the anvil gently, without any fear of its heat. Once, once I dreamed of working a fur with a furnace like that. I gave oaths to Torag that I'd craft hundreds of suits of armor, that my hammer would be tireless. Oh, that was so long ago. Finally averts his gaze from the fire and turns to you. The very existence of this anvil is miraculous and unnatural. So much suffering and sorrow surrounds us. And yet here, oh. Harum shakes his beard in negation. It shouldn't be like that. That is just wrong. Harum turns around and glances at the anvil with hate in his eyes, his hands clenched into fists. Grotus, grant me strength. I'll restore righteousness. The dwarf deals a strong blow of his fist to the anvil base. Oh! Ho, ho, ho! Ha ha ha! 
The light grows dim for a moment. A dull rumble seems to start at the base of the anvil and hear it growing steadily louder and finally filling the whole room with a deafening roar. You'd swear you hear the mad laughter of Grotus in this roaring. Or maybe it's Harim's own laughter. The anvil trembles and suddenly falls apart as if trying to catch up in time with the rest of the fortress in its state of ruin. Why did you destroy this anvil? Does Grotus encourage destruction now? I've always believed Grotus does not destroy. He just waits until the end comes to everything in his world. Rather, how can you constantly doubt the overwhelming might of Grotus? His face grows red with anger, his eyes bulge, and he seems to almost fall from their sockets. How can you denounce him every time you get a chance? You're a blasphemer! Filled with rage, he raises his hand to hit you. Last moment, he turns away and hits the base of the broken anvil instead. Ooh, there's something there. After several moments, Harim comes to his senses. Forgive me, Soroceros. Sometimes I forget how difficult it is to follow the path of Grotus. I must not get angry at unbelievers. I must persuade them to make their own choice of following the one true god. Harim's second blow shatters the remnants of the anvil. Among the shards, there is something that catches your attention. An odd red stone, definitely of magical origins. It radiates heat and litters with every shade of flame. The priest picks up the glimmering jewel from the floor and looks at it suspiciously. He nearly throws the gem against the wall, but something makes him hesitate. The red reflections dance on his face. What is it? I don't know, but I feel Torax touch upon it. Maybe those who created the anvil put it aside, or... Hmm, no, no, nonsense, this cannot be. Jewels do not appear out of nowhere, but then this metal isn't usually broken with bare hands, right? I don't know, Saraceros, I don't know. Give me the jewel. Hiram hands you the jewel. There, do as you wish with it. You can sell it, throw it away, keep it as a memento. If that, if it's Torek's parting gift, I have no need of it. Hiram wipes the tears from his eyes. I shouldn't have come here. What did I expect to find besides decay, dust, and ash? I uh, forgive me, Soroceros. Thank you for honoring my request and bringing me here. But now, now I wish to be alone. Okay. So we've done Harim's quest there. But we also got the heart of the uh, anvil. Which I was kind of surprised he just destroyed it. The path is clear. But there we go. Um... There's more of this place to explore, and I think we are going to explore it now. Conscious, episode's gone long, but I think we're going to explore it all. We're going to at least get to the point where we're leaving the area. And then we'll see where we're at. We also have to bring Jubilost here. Um, although we don't know where Jubilost is. That's our other quest in this area. We have to go back to the wizard. We've got so many... I, was, I forgot we don't move while I have that one. We only move while I have this open. But yeah, we've got so many little quests that we've just finished off. Or about to finish off. We might actually get... This, level 7 might be one of our shortest levels. Looking at it. Right. I think we could easily get to level uh, 8 very quickly. If we finish... If this is like the end of an act kind of quest. But hopefully this has also stopped the troll raid. So we'll stop getting that event every time. Right. So now we can head in here. And is this another loot room? That's what I'm hoping for. Loot room number 2. It is loot room number two. Look at that. Anything else? Oh. It's disappointing loot room number one. Wait. Am I blind? Oh, you were meant this is just meant to be your way you leave. <laughs> it, they gave you a quick way out and I still took the long way out. Lovely. Right. And then this door we can just unlock. That's us done in here, pretty much. The path is clear. Oh, there's also this. Which I don't know how I missed it. That's fine. We'll grab it. That's a shock frost heavy mace. Shock frost heavy mace. Uh, so that is better than his heavy mace, right? Yeah. It's 4 to 21. Oh, okay. As 1d6 cold, 1d6 electricity, 1d8 bludgeon. That's... So good! Like, that's turned them from being not a damage dealer in the slightest to a huge damage dealer. Also, uh, heal your disease. Oh, it worked this time. Nice, and your uh, ability damage. There we go. 
one dex. Lovely. I mean, his dex was down by three, so I mean, it's kind of good. Uh, anything left in here? No, I think we've thoroughly looted that. That is very, very looted there. Okay, now there are trolls that were in the outside of this area. Hopefully they're friendly. There. I mean, there's no reason for them to be friendly, but my logic why they might is maybe our troll friend went out there and made him friendly. I don't know. Anyway. Another quick save, because apparently I'm paranoid. Uh, and we're looking to head out here. No, out here. There we go. Long way away. There we go. There's our friend, the Cobalt Artist, who's just still sitting there. That guy who gave us a buff of some kind, which we still don't really know what it is. Might have just been flavor. That's fine. Uh, okay. Nearly all the way out here. Do I heal before we leave? Yes. This is a fight. Definitely do that again. Quick save. Head out. Yep, nothing left there. Okay. Let's see what we got. I'm also expecting a paladin to show up soon. Yeah, because of our loot that we've got. But we've got a whole bunch of people I'm expecting to show up soon. Nobody is out here. That's interesting. There were people out here previously. But they have been moved away. I'll go in. Okay. That's fine. Uh, there's nothing up here, is there? Oh, is this the way out? We haven't explored any of this area. That's fine. Uh, keep exploring then. Ooh, see free loot if we just explore. Anything else? Yeah, no problem. Grab that. So it looks like the trolls have abandoned the area entirely, as have the kobolds, which makes sense, because we, well, killed their leaders. Tartuk and uh, Hargulka, uh, specifically. That's good. Uh, I wonder if the kobolds are going to be mad at us and attack back. I kind of don't think so. I think that this might be the last we see of kobolds. Now, my logic for that is, maybe it's... Um, like, so, let me try this again. The reason why I think it might be the last we'll see, also I'm trying to figure out we leave. Oh, there we go. Last we'll see of the Kobolds is, um, Kobolds are kind of a low level enemy in general, and they would having to be throwing loads at us to make it even possible for it to be a challenge. So I think that they, it might be time for us to move on to like the next tier of enemies. Anyway, seems this now broken door was too complicated for trolls to open properly. Again, insulting trolls intelligence nonstop. Right, let's head out here. Is this a quick way out? It might be. Oh, Cobalt Sentinel. Uh, a small crowd of Cobalt surrounds you. They look frail and thin. Their skin covered in sores and claw marks. Even the tattered skins they wear are falling apart. The Cobalts make no sound. They simply stand and look at you, following their unblinking eyes as though waiting for something. The Cobalts step, step away when you try to leave, making no move to block your exit. Fault your way, but their silent attention is somewhat uncomfortable. What are you doing here? What do you want? Cobalt stay uh, silent. Quivering somewhat, they keep their eyes on you as you pass by. Do any of you speak common? Cobalt remain silent. Some of them stir as if understanding, but also in fear, afraid to answer. Oh, right, yes. I killed Tartuk because he wouldn't live by my laws. If you want to live, stop attacking humans or you meet the same fate he did. The Cobalts keep looking at you silently, just when you think they may not answer one speaks. Cobalt hears, understands. They fall silent. A crowd of kobolds parts before you and closes silently behind you as you pass. After several steps, you turn around and see the kobolds are drifting apart, going separate ways. Okay. So it's basically the kobolds have seen us kill their king and they're like, Oh damn, what's next? They, they coming for us? Oh, there's another way out. Oh, another way in. Like all these sneaky ways in, like you can climb over the wall. So far, I just always just go through the front gate. Another Dryad token. It's another 800 gold or something like that. What's this? A way into the rock? 
Oh, it takes us into the ruins. It's just another way into the ruins. Okay. Well, let me leave, please. I don't want to go into the ruins. I don't want to go into the ruins. Oh, right. So that takes you right to the final fight. Okay. Interesting. So if you explored a little bit more, you can actually get... Ignore all of the dungeon, what... Like, in its entirety. Oh, maybe you can fight Tartusio without fighting uh, Har uh, Hargulka. Because you get there. Oh, I've somehow moved them along. I'll but, like, you can... If you can get there without having alerted uh, Hargulka to your presence, then he has no reason to have ran from the front to the back. So you can start at the back and kill Tartusio. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you just fight them both there and they're both just there for whatever reason. But it seems right to me. Also doesn't look like this area has anything else in it. So that's fine. Uh, I want to leave and go to the main map because last time we did this, there like last time we killed Tartusio, we got another um, cutscene. So I'm interested to see if he gets like risen up from the dead again. Let's try it. Quick save. Click on that, and we're out. Okay, so no cutscene. Oh, that is the end of the troll there. I think. With the troll menace ended, all our woes were in the past, and there was nothing left endangering our young barony. <laughs> As if the true hardships were yet to come. Oh dear. Okay. So, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and next time we're going to head back to uh, our capital. See you then. Goodbye.